Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Uh, give me a sec to... That's not the right button. Oh, that's not right. Okay, I was trying to look for a button to press, but the only thing I need to do here is switch the HDMI cables. And everything is good to go. Yes? Okay, gotcha. Alright, let's put that full screen. Let's switch the views. Okay, let's do some Paper Mario Color Splash. It has been so long since... maybe not so long, but it's it's definitely been a while since I've done Paper Mario last. Um, and we're pretty close to the end of the game, actually, so... I say we wrap this up. Come on, colors. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so let's get a good look at uh, where we left off last time. Oh! That's a good world map theme to come back to. Man, look at how much we've done! Let's see. Where are we headed here? Let's see, we last got the orange paint star, so this is the thing that was just filled in. So I guess we'll head here. Marmalade Valley. Didn't picture us coming back to a place like this, but I guess here we are. I never would have imagined that we find such a complete specimen, and that it would be so terrifying. This is the biggest find in history! We're gonna be famous! We're gonna be rich! We're gonna sell the movie rights! i never seen anything like it! Dragonon came to life and flew away! I wonder where it went. Aw oh, man, I came all the way here to see the big fossil and now it's gone! Where did it go anyways? It's not like we could have grown wings and flown away, right? <laughs> Mario, you're not gonna believe this! The Dragonon fossil came to life and flew away! I'm no professor, but I didn't think fossils could do that. Maybe you should talk to the actual professor about this. Will do. There needs to be a 50s noir-themed Mario game? Didn't they already kind of do something like that in Thousand Year Door? The chapter with the train, yeah. This is the professor's house. The professor studies fossils and other really old things. He's what's known as an old rock in the parlance of his field. Yeah, but do you know anything about fossils? I don't know much about fossils, only my mom put a couple games on there and I'm playing. Ah, my dear Mario, I hear you were a witness to a rather magnificent event at my dig site. Yes, it appears that the big paint star somehow revitalized our Dragonon fossil with paint. Which means, of course, that it was never really a fossil to begin with. It was merely decolorized. Anyhow, if you wish to study that fascinating creature in more detail, you ought to track it to its home. In that regard, I may be of some assistance. Dragonons are known for nesting deep within volcanoes. They just love the heat. Good luck, Mario, and thank you. Well, uh, I know of one hot place. I'm guessing that's where we're headed. Let's see. Where's the route to that? This way. Red Pepper Volcano. Yeah, let's open some stuff up here. Right, I remember... Do you... What do you gotta say? Hey, this is my cool corner! It's the only place that's kind of sheltered from the face melting heat up there, so bug off! Okay. Right, 
right, I remember this. There was like a dead end here. And it's like, oh, nothing's gonna happen here. Maybe try coming back later. And lo and behold, <gasps> eh? Dragadon. Luckily, I speak a little Dragadon, but I haven't used it since college. <clears throat> hey, Dragadon, I am Huey. This is Mario. We are friends. How are you doing? Sure is hot in here, right? I think that's bad. Whoa! Oh shit, oh shit! Wow! Oh god! He's chopping through these platforms like Labo creations. Oh god! Shelter from the heat, right? Eh? Wait, no, he's still... Is he gonna... Oh, shit. Do I have to, like, start a fight with him? Okay, clearly not. Mario, you gotta get out of here! I don't know. I don't... It doesn't look like there's any way to fight back. I gotta get out of here. Go to the world map indeed. Yeesh. No paint stars around here. Well, actually, there's two, but I don't know if I'm gonna. Well, what now? Well, what now? Do I go back? Oh shit! Hey, Vicente. The other stuff in the world map led me over here. So what's up? Hey. Eh? Oh, he's just gonna. Oh wait, there's something I can cut out here. Hold on. I don't know if I had the right thing, but I can see what I need to cut out. What do I have? I don't have anything cards from the looks of it. I just gotta cancel. I gotta cancel. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I don't think I can make that distance of time. Jeez. Yeah, that is one angry boy. Fire extinguisher? I was thinking the basin. Because I know when Captain Toad you beat him by dropping something on his head, so... Either way, we'll go talk to the trash can Toad and see what he says we need. The trash Toad. Still don't know where that 1% of unpainted turf is. Yeah, I could use a couple of these. Let's see. Trash is this way. Yeah, what's your take, buddy? Hello again, Mario. Need to know about anything today? You must seek a round thing that can be used to wash one's hands, or dropped on a monster's head. I have a really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. So like the basin, right? It's gonna be the basin? I'll get the basin for now, and then I'll talk to the toad again. And then maybe he'll be like, oh, well you have everything you need. Because he says that if, you, if that is the case. So we'll try squeezing this, and then talk to him again, and see if this was the right guess. Yeah, an extremely heavy baiting aid. Dropping this on an enemy's head might just knock it out. It's a very Japanese answer to a very Japanese question, but okay. Basin it is. I have a release. Okay. I sense one more thing about the thing or things you seek. You already have everything you need right now. Alright, basin it is. Yeah, that confirms it. 
All right. Let's head back over there. We should be good now. Uh, yeah, there's only the one route to get to that volcano, so I'll have to go through here. Yeah, there we go. Neat. Oh, I got you now. Oh, I gotta wait for this guy to show up. I just end up dropping the basin into an empty fucking pool. Okay. Snip, snip, snip. Now let's grab that basin. Yeah, right here. Touch to paint. This is basically assault. I think he started it. He's fine. Oof! That had to hurt. We were just trying to calm him down, but now I feel guilty. Whoa, he is really out of it. Like, he's not moving at all. Did I get on his dead? Game over. You know, if we could find something to lead him, maybe we could, like, ride him around. Wait, don't you have some food on you? Why don't you see if it smells good to the Dragodon? Oh, shit. It all comes together. Yes! Looks like we've snagged ourselves a pet Dragodon. Man, he's really focused on that Magnet Burger. I bet he'd take us anywhere right now. Alright. Holy shit, look at me go. <laughs> Alright, we're in business. So I see some stuff with some snippets over here, but I want to see if there's anything in the room where we first found him, or if that's just a dead end. No, it looks like a dead end. Okay. This way it is. Oh, neat. There's like no blue paint in this entire volcano. How are we gonna make our quota? Sounds like the quotas are going up too. I hear we're gonna be making more of those black paint bombs. Have we talked to this guy? Does he just say the same thing? Yeah, okay, it's just the same exchange. Nope. Same exchange. I get the idea. Okay, cool. Oh, a lot of buzzy beetles around here, huh? Ooh! Not today, buddy! Oh, <laughs> the whole gang's here. Holy shit. Alright, I haven't played this in a while, so give me a sec to sort through my cards here and see what I'm dealing with. Big KO hammer? Big E hammer? Uh, you tell me. And it does something. Oh, I guess, right, the E cameras have different timing. Why would these guys not just, like, do the things that Koopas do, where they just, like, spin at you? That seems like an odd... <laughs> okay, what cards do I have here? I mean... I have, like, no attack cards right now. I must have used them all in that boss battle earlier. Yeah, I gotta drop by a shop, actually. Uh, well, let's do a battle spin. Let's see what we can make do with. Iron jump. I guess that counts. So we'll do one of those. Uh, do we have any regular jumps? We've got a triple standard jump. Uh, we've got a spiny on our side. Let's try those and see how that works out. Shit. Almost. Almost. Uh-oh. Well, hold on. Uh, let me just do a battle spin and maybe find like some sort of card I can waste. Because this, I think the spiny will finish this off for us and we won't have to waste any more cards. Let's see. Let's get a double hammer here. Nice. Okay, let's sort it out and I guess put on a frog suit? I don't know. 
It feels like the spin-off Mario games need different main villains. What did this accomplish, Mario? Yeah, there he goes. Um, they already kind of do that. Uh, the Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario already, or rather, Super Paper Mario already had, uh, what you're suggesting. Um, I know the Mario and Luigi games have been ha- Yeah, those have been different antagonists, too. There was, you know, uh, Cacletta, Fawful, the Shroobs, um, and Tasma. You know what, there's actually some some cards we're getting from blocks here. Maybe we can keep trucking along if we just avoid enemies a little more often here. A little more often, I said! Well, that ice flower would certainly come in handy, but... I just gotta be using the battle spin, like, every single turn. Okay, there's an another double hammer. Uh, so let's see what we're looking at here. Man, I really don't have much in the way of cards, huh? Uh, let's see. I've got a nice flower I could use. Yeah, that seems like it pinches these guys off, no problem. Even as far as Bowser's involvement goes in these games, though, I think, like, he's a fun character. I, it's... I think you have a valid point in wanting something different, but... Bowser's usually the most charming. He... as he's always been... Oh, what am I getting at? Like, Bowser's Inside Story, Bowser was a great character in that game, and I wouldn't want to necessarily see him... replaced. But that game also had, like, a good focus on, like, new villains. Fawful was an established character by that point, too, though, so it's like... I don't know what I'm getting at. I think they've already found, like, a good, like, middle ground between the new and old. Um, I think Paper Mario from an era... Or rather, uh, Color Splash it is from an era um, that maybe leaned a little too close towards sticking with what was safe, but... I think if you look back at stuff like, you know, Super Paper Mario or Bowser's Inside Story, you know, either Mario RPG series, really, uh, they, they both definitely have found uh, a good, you know, middle ground where they can, I think, please both audiences. Alright, how are we gonna go about this now? Another battle spin, I guess. Alright, faces? What are we looking at? I guess I'll get another double hammer. Let's see. Let's see if that'll do the trick. Oh, I, I don't know. It was really <laughs> uh, unwise to um, go in here with as few cards as I did. I really just gotta rely on what the environment gives me now. Hmm. Let's see. I could use a single hammer. I don't know. I've got one of those. Sure. <sighs> okay. I don't know, like... People definitely dislike this game for, for that sort of reason, where it kind of sticks too close, it maybe plays things a little too safe, uh, in that sort of the area. But, I don't know. I don't know if that inherently makes it a bad game, you know what I mean? Like, the elements of Thousand Year Door that are no longer present in this game, people are mad about that, and I understand why they're mad. And I like those- I liked those elements, too, when they were in that game. And it's not to even say that this game would be improved by including those elements, either, because I think those are good elements to really include in pretty much any game. Um... Man, I'm really running low on cards here. Battlespin? But... I don't think their absence necessarily ruins the game, either. Yeah, that could help. Okay, let's go for this. Iron Jump. I still think that in spite of all the things that people are mad about about this game and how much is missing from it, uh... 
I still think it's very charming and very good. And I've been having a lot of fun with it throughout, the, throughout these streams, and I think that, uh... Like, this is the thing. I liked this game, but I don't know if I like this direction, if that makes sense, you know? Man, I just, I just gotta keep doing battle spins here. I just had an issue with the lack of side characters. Let's see. Uh, I want... I guess a double hammer, huh? That is an ice flower, but okay. Uh, I don't know if Iron Dogs would work on these guys. I need something that's, like, abstracted. I've got... I've got a big KO hammer. I don't know. That's valid, too, though. What? Do I need jumps to fight these guys? That can't be it. It's gotta be an ice flower. I've gotta use ice flowers then. That's perfectly fine though to want more side characters as well. I think, you know, again, and this is... <sighs> when it comes to the things that, pe that are quote unquote missing from Color Splash, it's like, there's, so, there's a lot of different things that people missed from Thousand Year Door that just aren't in this game, you know, including side characters, but it's also, you know, uh, a different kind of battle system, and the writing, and uh, the, like, even the, the visual style of the game. I know a lot of people that, who complain that this game is, oh, it's too much paper, I don't like that they make it look like paper, I don't like that the writing talks about paper, it's bad. But again, I feel like this series, or rather, um, other Mario RPG series have kind of proven that there's an alright middle ground where there, <laughs> where the team is still allowed to do new things, uh, but maybe without making uh, the Thousand Year Door purists have a tantrum. A save block here? Why? Well, hold on. There might be something... There was another door here that I didn't check out. Maybe there's stuff in there. Because this looks like where I'm supposed to go if there's a save block. Oh, come on! <laughs> These guys are tricky. I might run from this. I'll do a battle spin and then run, actually. So I can at least have a, a surplus. See what's in here. Come on. Oh shit. Look, a paint star. Oh, it's awfully far away, isn't it? How are we gonna get it? Maybe this pipe has something to do with it? Let's see where this leads. Oh, no, it's not colored in. Okay, but I see a rescue toad, and I also see a bottle with a card slot. And I'm guessing I'm going to need a bottle opener to get this one. So this is an optional thing to come back to, I'm pretty sure. So I'll go this way and get whatever paint star is this way, and then before coming back, I'll pick up a bottle opener from the shop. Oh, does Mario, like, sweat as an idle animation here? Oh yeah, look at that. That's cute. Oh jeez, yeah, I just gotta run from these boys. I get panicky when they jump out like that. <laughs> okay, 
So now let's save. And now let's get sidling. Oh man. Ooh, jeez, okay. At least I'm getting some proper cards for once. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I'll check what the what lies along the other way before committing to that. Yeah, it looks to me like there's something interesting over here. fight like really must have decimated my whole inventory. I really don't have very many good items to fight with here. Do I even have I don't even have any healing items. Let me at least like use the battle spin in between attempts at fleeing. Because then that way I can at least like that can be one way of getting cards for the time being. Especially because between all these flea attempts, I'm taking a hefty amount of damage. Come on, come on, there we go! Phew. Oh shit, fuzzies. Wait, there's a replica down here. Salt and pepper? I see. Oh, interesting. Like, rises and lowers then, or is it down forever? Yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna come back up. Okay, okay. There we go. Big ice flower. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no, this is the way it was supposed to go, though. But there were items down there. Cool items! the way I'm supposed to go. I, I'm so low on items, I need to... Oh, shit. I'm really jumping the gun here. Oh, yeah, now I gotta go back this way. Whew. What happens if I drop down here? Bad things, apparently! Yeesh. You think that lava will maybe affect those guys, like, even a little... Oh shit, the, that lava down there rises and lowers too? Oh, and that's a game over? <sighs> oh, after a great start here, haven't gotten a single fucking star, and this is already what we're doing. Well, you know what, the save block that I got earlier was like at the very start of this room, so maybe this actually isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I was trying to get to the beginning of this room after all. I guess I technically got what I wanted. I take it back. I don't consider this a failure in the slightest. Although I do have to go back and get all this junk now. I'm totally gonna get impatient with this too. Shit! Also, I'm totally landing on this side of this enemy. I don't know if it should count as pricking my foot here. Okay, big KO hammer. Let's go for it. Okay, there we go. Well, it looks like I got a little. Uh, I have a couple hammer scraps there. Okay, so there's health down here. And a door? Oh shit. Where does this lead? Oh, well that's just... This just, okay, then sure. I was hoping that would maybe be like a little bit of a... 
something new, but I do appreciate the help nonetheless, I guess. <laughs> oh shit, hey Gamer Pro. Oh, did I not get this block either? Apparently I did not. Yeah, that's a brand new one. Yeah, okay. So that's where I went like the first time, right? So yeah, I want to start going this way now. Yeah, I was worried that this was going to be a little bit of a dead end if I dropped down here earlier, but it looks like that's what that door is for, so at least now I know how to get back. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Go, Mario! Go, Mario! Go! There we go. Nothing wrong with a little salt and pepper. Okay, well now we just got to head back towards that door, and now we can go the real way. Ooh, that, that was a close one. There we go. Now we're cooking with salt and pepper. All right, we'll come back up. We'll head around. Now we're getting the move on. Oh, and maybe let's save too, so that we can keep all those items that we just got. And let's also maybe be a little more patient with these spinies. <laughs> I think it was supposed to drop here, and then this I, I just go right instead. Gotcha. Oh, you can like walk forwards too? Interesting. Hmm. I'm eating macaroni? Dude, good for you. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, I just like barely outran those guys. Let's try not to get fucking cooked here. I just said we were- I just said we were cooking, but this is not the kind of cooking that I want any part in. Alright, go, go, go! Get the card. Okay, we're up, we're up. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, now we're making progress. Oh, and we're getting some cards again, finally! Oh, it's a miracle. Oh, and enemies I can actually jump on? Listen, I'll take the damage just when we get into battle. <laughs> oh, perfect. This will be a great opportunity to use that triple jump card that I've been holding on to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, great. Oh, I gotta like, it's been a while since I've streamed this, I gotta get used to the timing with the frame delay all over again. Ooh, jeez. Oh, I'll take the fucking field damage if it means I can at least... Okay, there we go. And I gotta keep doing the- oh shit, I gotta keep uh, the battle spins coming. Cause these fresh cards aren't gonna last forever. There we go, double hop slipper. That's a good card. Okay, so let's let's stick with the double hammer for now. And then what else do we have here? I could try using this tail, I don't know. <laughs> we could try that. Cause I'm thinking if they like try to throw a fireball, I can like deflect it. Yeah, let's, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Oh god. Nope. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh god. Okay, battle spin. Let's use that mushroom. Phew. Okay, let's sort our cards out too. Oh, I only have the one mushroom. It's the one I just got. 
The one I was thinking of, the one I was thinking of must have been from when I died. I also probably should have used more cards than just that mushroom because I just probably undid all of the health that I just filled. Oh jeez. Okay, battle spin. What do we got? Mm, I'm gonna say a double jump. Let's get a double jump out of this. There we go. Double jump. Double jump. Jump jump. There it is. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Unless... Man, I'm so low on cards, though. It's hard to make, like, a decisions like this. No, I'll, I'll go with the double jump. I just gotta... Uh-oh. Okay, no, we're still good. Yeah, but I just gotta get used to using that battle spin thing more often, and... Trying to actually be careful with what cards I use here. Oh, the hammer straps can just straight up fall? Damn. I don't know that could happen. For the most part, it seems like they actually... Eh? Yeah, let's be careful not to paint ourselves into a corner here. Yeah, yikes. There we go! Well, that covers that. Uh, does this mean we can- Oh, so that's how you summon Dragadon, okay. Uh, there's not really much else we can- Unless we can get over here. Which I don't think we can. Yeah, so this has got to be where we summon Dragadon, then. Hello? Oh, there he is! Nice. Oh yeah, we can just fucking snatch through these. Oh, yeah, I could use this. Mega Mushroom, there we go. Now we're cooking. Can I get dropped off here? Oh, I totally can. Wait, but there's a there's a heart here that I can definitely use right now. Nice! A hundred! Holy shit! That's exactly what I need right now. Alright, thank you! <laughs> oh shit! Thank you, come from the ceiling?! Oh, I didn't know this. Alright, let's use a battle spin and use an ice flower. Okay. Okay! This should be exactly what I need to take out these four. Excellent indeed. Perfect, indeed, at that. Oh shit, these guys just keep coming, huh? Yo, you guys gotta chill. You guys gotta chill! <laughs> oh, these things are everywhere, huh? Alright, another battle spin it is. Okay, well this is four of these guys too, so it looks like an ice ladder would be good here again. There we go. Okay. Don't you do it, don't you do it! Okay, there we go. Yeah, so now if I fill in this space, I'll be able to bring Dragadon over to that little dock. And that'll open up a new area for us. There we go. Man, but now I gotta go all the way back across here and deal with more of these. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not bad at all. I was really dreading that. Train fire bros! What have you done to them? Oh man, I'll never stop worrying with this rate. Coach! Put me in, coach! You f 
bowl. You haven't properly warmed up your shoulder. Come on, coach. Give me a chance. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was that? Throw your fastball, man. Not this off speed nonsense. Well, so much for that team. Now I've got to start from scratch. <laughs> man, would I kill Bowser to recruit just one minion with a decent throwing arm? Ooh. We're getting some good cards here. Oh, hey! Okay, well this is what I needed the- Well, I don't have a bottle opener right now. Why didn't you warn me about this garbage can, Toad? Aw, oh, man. Well, at least they make it easy to come back here pretty quickly, so... I guess back to Port Prison it is. And maybe while we're there, we can drop off some stuff at the museum and pick up some proper items, too, so that we don't have to fucking worry non-stop about the cards I don't have. Drag it up. There's my baby boy. Okay. It's this way, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else... I don't have anything coming, so it's probably a... We'll talk to the trash can toad to verify. Alright, where to again? This way, right. I wish... I kind of wish the garbage can toad would, would have told us about that the first time, though. Because the basin and the... Bottle opener are kind of part of the same mission, so you th you'd think that he would mention both, but here we are. Here we are, burning. I do need to know about anything. You must seek a thing that has been mistaken for a weapon when in fact it merely opens delicious beverages. I have a real special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. I don't know if that necessarily says bottle opener, but I'll squeeze that, and then we'll see if that's the right thing. I mean, the slot for it is right next to a bottle. That's my guess. Harness is the principle of leverage to pry off bottle caps. Yeah, let's see here. Need to know- well, hold on, no, 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 wait, 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 no, I do want to know about anything today, okay. I sense one more thing about the thing of things you seek. You already have everything you need right now. Well, there we go. Confirmed. I also got a couple of brand new cards while I was in that area, though, so I want to drop those off at the museum first, and then use all that empty space in my inventory and just fill it right on up. I think that's the best way to go about this. Man, I still don't know what to do about that toad on the wall after all this time. Maybe yeah, we got a couple things to drop off. Yeah, we got Hop Slipper X3, Big E Camera X2, and the Big Jump X2. Okie dokie. Alright, now let's head up to the shop and fucking splurge. Maybe we'll finally see the one thing we need to recolor. Yeah, 
Here we go. Welcome to Prisma Carver. What you need today? Well, uh, a whole lot of these. And a whole lot of these. And probably a couple more of these. Do we have any iron jumps here? That we do. Maybe like five of these. Oh, I'm, I'm Baroque. Come back once you get some Monet. Har har. And, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else can we get here? Uh, oh, I can't even afford any, um, healing items. Maybe I can sell a couple things. I have, like, a lot of one-up mushrooms that I don't want. Because they don't actually give me an extra life. And a couple frog suits and a couple spiky helmets. There we go. That's some extra coin. And... No, it looks like we can get one more of these and one more of these, actually. Cool. That should cover us for now, so let's go back to the world map and finally use that bottle cap. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Alright, we gotta go this way. It's quite the road to get from the Humpton Volcano. There's two paint stars there, though, so... Maybe one of them opens like a like a shortcut that lets us get here faster. Okay, so I think the path to the paint star shouldn't be too long. I think it's just like the one Dragon section and then that's it. Okay. There we go. Follow your nose. There we go. Oh no, it's, it's one more room. I was thinking this was it, but it's just one more thing. Let's maybe pick up some extra cards while we're here, too. Yeah, maybe? Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was... Oh, man. I'm, like, just barely avoiding these. Holy shit. The finesse. Yeah, there we go. If this isn't what we need the bottle cap, or rather the bottle opener for, I don't know what else we would need it for, so let's go for this. Let's see, so I believe that would be at the far left of our list. Yep, bottle opener. Color it in. And let's see. Let's watch the magic unfold. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't think that makes that toad any safer. <laughs> okay. And then we should be able to get Dragon in here now, right? Yeah, okay. What a good boy. And we can get all these coins here, too. That's probably how we get the toad down, actually. I'm just worried we're gonna dunk him in the lava, though. Let's try. Help! Somebody help me! Whoa, Mario. Riding Dragadon? This is too much. I mean, first I fell into a volcano, which was super scary, and then I'm pretty sure Dragadon eat me. Anyway, it seems like I was not actually eaten, unless this is a fever dream, or the afterlife. Either way, I have a lot to think about. Would you mind giving me a ride out of this place? No? I don't know, guys. I could really use these coins. I gotta go for it. You think they would make it at least, like, I don't know, like three coins. I could use a little more than just this.
Like, I feel like this is kind of a, a seeing a penny on the street and not wanting to pick it up kind of situation. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what would be the most money before you would actually spend the time to pick it up? Oh, please don't leave me here. Another dragon dog might come along and eat me. Well, then get off. I probably gotta drop him off elsewhere, because that's a dead end. <laughs> yeah. Here. What a day! Nearly eaten by Dragonon and then rescued by the same Dragonon! And I met Mario. I'll be telling my grandkids about this day for sure! Toad number 43 of the Red Rescue Squad reporting for duty! Okie dokie. Wait, the star's already there? Yeah. It's just a matter of being able to reach it, which we've now done. Ah, oh, what a good boy! What a way to travel. That was exhilarating. And look, a mini paint star. Alright, why don't we give the poor guy his Magna Burger? He's done enough for us today. I mean, I guess. But it's our only one. Dragadon, thank you for the ride. Please enjoy your tasty burger. We love you. Bye. <laughs> Will he still come back for us, though? Hey, I don't think that's gonna work without any bait. Why don't you get another bait? Yeah, cause... Now we gotta go back if we need him again. I thought there was gonna be more to this. Well, it's just a matter of opening up the path. There's definitely longer missions than what we just did, but that's like the first in an area, so... It's not gonna be too hefty. I don't know, I might go pick up another Mega Burger, because there's still a star in here. We'll move on to the next mission and go for that later. <laughs> Four Cobalt is like all the way on the other side of the world map. Red Pepper Crater. Oh yeah, it's not the main paint star. Those are called big paint stars, know the difference. No, yeah, each stage is, is pretty bite-sized, but the overall chapter that leads to getting the big paint star is, like, way, way longer. We're not anywhere near that, if I recall correctly. But we can definitely make some good progress. Or not. At this rate. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, this guy does the Koopa spin. There we go. Oh shit, a triple hammer. Damn. Oh, Mario! Maybe you can help me out with something? I work at the Tangerino Grill and we got this huge block of ice taking up space in our freezer. The chef asked me to come here to find something to melt the ice, but I can't jump that high. Got any pointers for me? I've never been any good at jumping. Well, Mario here is one of the best jumpers I've ever seen. He could probably go pro if he wanted. So we'll go find the thing you're looking for and deliver it to the Tangerina Grill. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch! I'm still on the clock, so I'm just gonna go take a nap somewhere and rack up some overtime pay. Good for him. I thought he said he couldn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, three armor jumps. That's very nice! Oh fuck, after all that work I did to try to avoid that. Oh man. And the dry bones? Oh, I'm not dealing with this. Oh, no way, I'm getting out of here. Come on, Mario! 
Oh, fuck. Well, good thing I got a whole bunch of mushrooms just for an occasion like this. Man, if I'm using an item, though, that I don't get to fleece, I, I may as well. Okay, what do we got here? I got a blaze hammer, I got a double hammer. I don't know, will both of those work? Oh, that did like nothing. Oh, that shockwave didn't reach the front guy though. And now the dry wounds is it gonna come back? Wait, or not, hold on. We've got one more chance. There we go. Yeesh. Okay, let's watch out for falling in the lava here. <laughs> let's pace this. Oh, can I? Oh, you can totally knock those over. Cool. Whoa, jeez. I don't know if those are submerged or if they're just lowering, but I don't want to take the risk. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, they're going down. It's time to jump. Ah oh, man. Oh, thanks, Say Hydra to Bot. Mm, I might flee from this one. I don't pop with dry bones. Oh, hey, we actually got away for once. Because I can just smush this guy in the world map. Ooh, we actually got a card from this. That's me. seen piranha plants yet? I think this is the first time we've seen any of these guys. Wild. Let's just try two standard hammers. Let's see where that takes us. I see. Necessarily. Hold on here. Let's take inventory. I guess two hammers it is. Let's use a blaze hammer though, because I don't really use those. Oh, I could have just taken them out with just that. Cool. Man, and a double big hammer. We're getting like a ton of new car types here. Oh, this guy's like. Stepping it up a little bit. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I'm just gonna like use three hammers and see where that takes us. These guys breathe fire, I gotta watch out for that. And I also gotta watch out for my health. Maybe let's throw a mushroom into our next phase here. Okay, so... I don't think we can jump on these guys without getting chomped. If regular Mario rules are to, ble are to be believed. Uh, maybe we'll do a battle spin? Maybe that'll give us the cards we need. We could use an Ice Flower, but if I do that, I would rather get one of the mouse than I just use, like, an extra. 
Or uh, just a hammer. Sure, I guess we'll make do with that. But they're too far apart for the same blow to attack both of them, so... I'll take the hammer and use one of the ice lavas of the body, even though I just said I didn't want to use it. And I'll also use the mushroom. Yeah, I mean, technically that works, I don't know. It all feels overkill, though, now. This is how good cards get wasted. This is how we get into situations like I was in before. Oh shit. Oh shit. I... never mind, I guess. I thought I was, I was in like some serious trouble there, but perhaps not. Uh-oh. Well, I don't... I'm not fucking with this. Yeah, I'm not even gonna dance around this for a second. I'm going straight to Ice Flowers. Oh, it wasn't enough! At least I managed to block that. Okay, we'll have to do a battle spin. Let's see what we got. Let's get like a double hammer and then use a, our single hammer. Okay, we got the double. So now if we use the single, this last piranha plant should be done with. There we go. Well, I thought this guy was like part of the same group, but maybe not. Alright, well what's this guy got up his sleeve? Ah. Maybe an ice flower if we get anything interesting out of the battle spin. We can get triple hammers from this now. Yeah, don't mind if I do, goddamn. Well, this is a double iron jump, but still pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's use a nice flower. I think that's a fair exchange. Or is it? These guys aren't even finished with. Uh-oh. Nice. I could use that double iron jump, but I don't know if that'll do the trick. Let's use another battle spin and see what we can get. Double hammer, maybe? Double hammer. Let's give that a shot. It'll definitely do it, but again, I feel like it's overkill now. Like, there are weaker cards that can probably finish these guys off, and I don't want to use these good cards. I feel like that was a bit of a problem that I was running into earlier, but it's, it's really coming in full force now. Eh? Oh, 400? We 400? Nice! You know, it's good to move forward, but sometimes you have to look back at where you've been, too. Did I sound like a life coach just then? Good. I'm working on opening a private practice. Yeah, this is probably what you gotta do, right? Yeah. That wasn't too hard to figure out. I don't know why they had <laughs> why they felt the need to have a character give a hint to you there, but okay. Hmm. Well, we're sitting on a second double hammer, so that would probably be good. But I gotta use, make sure to use that battle stone like every single turn. Okay. That's why it's a double. Nice. Oh god. I think there's like a fire burn nearby. 
I was kind of expecting that platform to start going the other way, but okay. I thought that was going to be the big thing you could cross, but I don't know where it just retracted to. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't think a hammer has beat this guy, but we'll try a double iron jump maybe? After, of course, a battle spin. You can get triple iron jumps in this? Goddamn. Oh, that's just a fire flower. Hmm. Well, I can't imagine that'll beat a fireball. Nice flower it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, two of those ice balls were, like, wasted. It feels like I could be doing more. Oh, it does do the thing that I thought it did. Oh, it's not a fire bro, it's a fire flower. Or rather, a corona plant. And a dry bones. And these guys. You see, now this is a good situation for an ice flower. But it just feels like... Earlier circumstances where I have to use this are like being wasted because of this. Uh, yeah, let's try an ice flower and I guess a hammer. I don't know. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, but this first guy's gotta. I was hoping to use the hammer on the piranha plant, but. Oh, wait! I thought it would go back to the front of the line, but I guess not. Alright then, perfect. Uh, let's start with the battle spin, of course. Oh, there's a ton of good cards here. It's all big. Yeah, I'll go for faces. Yeah, can I get a fucking, uh, double big hammer? Nice. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. Uh, and then we'll use... Do we have any, like, normal ass? We got a lot of iron jumps, we can use like a single one of those, I think. Oh yeah, that sends them over the edge, cool. And even though we used the battle spin, we got like more more um, coins that we started with. So that's that's great. Oh hold on, what's going on here with this block? More invisible bullshit? jump over this? I totally can, look at that. Oh cool. That's not too bad of a detour at all. Hmm, huh. well how do I... Oh well now I probably have to go back to that other spot, right? Unless I go here? No. Oh, I thought I could do it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Yeah, this has got to be here for a reason. Let's go for it. Let's see what's here. This looks like something I can knock down, though. Oh, it's just paint. This game is getting more difficult, though. I, I appreciate that. Oh man, the bombs? What am I gonna do about this? What's this little... There was like a thing hanging on that rock. Hold on. Well, 
I did not. I did not mean to press this button, but okay, I'll take it. Can I walk on this though? I guess I can. <laughs> oh jeez. Nope. I don't know why I can't seem to jump on top of these guys. I don't know if that's like just because I. Oh jeez. I don't know if it's just because like I I take I take. Oh jeez. Because every time I see one of these guys, I don't not take damage. So I don't know if that is preventing me from jumping on top of them, or if they're just like too tall. I don't know. You don't need a second ice flower for that kind of thing. So I think just a standard jump should do the trick. I don't think you've got a chance to use any of those really. Phew, cool. Ah, oh, but there's a bonus door down there. Oh shit. He said, who are you and what are you doing in my volcano? Now he said, this is my living room, how would you like it if I just walked into your living room? He goes on, I've got the temperature set just the way I want it in here. If you don't like it, too bad, don't even think of letting any of the heat out. Don't you even know how much it costs to heat this place? The rocks don't melt themselves, you know? I, I actually think he's wrong about that. The rocks do melt themselves, but he seems pretty mad anyway. I like that he's got a fucking interpreter. Okay, maybe lost time then, I guess. <laughs> oh, he's giving you a warning. That's pretty thoughtful for an enemy. He said, I'm literally made of fire, and you're made of paper. Good luck, Kindling. So, maybe not as thoughtful as I originally thought. Oh shit, do we need a fire extinguisher here? Oh jeez, okay. Well, let's start with the big mushroom. Ooh, let's start with the battle spin. Then use the big mushroom and just go all out on our uh, ice flowers here. Okay, I'm gonna start by using a big one and then a regular sized one. So let's see, we're gonna use big mushroom, we're gonna use ice flower, then big ice flower. Alright, let's see where this takes us. Oh, but half of them are going towards the shy guy. I like the interpreter. I don't. I don't. I don't mean him any ill will. All right. Let's see how much that does. It's like a third of the damage. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, he's. It's really heating up now. Okay. Well, let's do another battle spin here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... I don't think we need to heal just yet, so we'll go with three Ice Flowers now. And this time they'll all be focused on the one enemy instead of being split between them and the Shy Guys, so... We'll see how much damage this does. Sure.
Aw, oh, not quite though. Not quite. Whew, okay. Oh, it's eaten up again. I think we only have the one ice flower left, so let's do a battle spin and then maybe we can get two? Oh, there's a big one actually. Yeah, let's show those faces. Cool. So, I guess we'll use just that? I don't know. Don't see why they wouldn't do the trick. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, nice! Oh, I'm sorry, Interpreter. <laughs> Yeah, there's something else on the side. I already looked. Ooh! Neat. So what's this way, then? Oh, God! Hey? Oh, listen to this! It's like the main color splash melody. Oh, shit. I see a certain someone. Hey, Mario! Oh, it's a shame you guys can't see this. Oh, he just gave me 300 coins for finding him. I mean, that's neat, I guess. Hey man, if you've got it, flaunt it. And boy, have I got it. Oh, this is probably the thing that melts ice that I needed. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Sorry, dude. Drop a plugged-in hairdryer in the pool. Well, I kind of just squeezed it, so... Blow a searing iron that can dry out or melt practically anything. You borrowing the dryer? Just be sure to bring it back. It's no fun being soggy all day. Toad number 44 of the Red Rescue Squad reporting for duty. How many of the red ones have I found? Hey, this thing seems like it could melt that huge block of ice at the restaurant. Like, were the red toads the one I found on the train, or were those like a different color? Oh, this hot spring's the best! The perfect temperature! Ah, I wish I could sit in here all day. But I suppose it's about time to bring myself out and get on with the day. Oh shit. Toad number 45, the Red Rescue Squad, are part of your- Oh, there's fucking Rescue Squad people hiding in here. Are these all Rescue Squad members? Hold on now. And it's hot spring to be hotter if you ask me. Okay, because I don't know what voice and voice to use for which ones. It's a little toasty in here. I can't go between these guys. I feel like we know each other pretty well, Mario, but not watch each other take baths well, you know? Oh, shit, secret room? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, I'm not even a sniff it anymore, man. I'm converting to a soak it. Yeah, me too. Bowser works us too hard. Oh, there's a paint store over here. Hold on. Ah! Is so beautiful. What are they looking at? Hey, it took us three hours to stack up like this. Don't knock us over. Fucking get on go! What are you doing? If you fall down, we won't be able to get back up again. Find your own spot. What the fuck? No! Phew! Oh, well, I can go around here. Oh, no. Listen, I gotta tell you something. Hey? Eh? Why, I never! Oh no. Oh no, what the fuck? What the fuck? You! Ah! Uh. But we were just looking at the paint store. 
fall down, go boom. They specifically took out all the things that people liked about Paper Mario so that it would be a baby game. And then they put this shit in it? Okay, sure. What the fuck? <laughs> Ugh. Oh shit, well, that's a nice little shortcut at least. Oh, there's two things here as well? I'll come back for it later. It looks like what we need to do right now is, um, Tangerino Grill, which is... this one? Yeah, okay. Well, there's no paint star here, it looks like, but we do need that hairdryer here. Guys, I'm so happy we can go back to see Scott, president of Mamma Mia Pizza. I really need to use the freezer, but it's completely frozen over. Is that ironic or what? glass for. Hmm. Oh, now I can use the freezer. <laughs> I want to save the final piece of Mamma Mia pizza to have as a late night snack. Have some fun with pizza. Mario, we're in your debt for preparing the VIP meal too, so I'd like to thank you. What is this manual thing? Why is it saying to go to the manual? Oh shit. Grilling meat to perfection. Did you enjoy the meat battle at Tangerino Grill? I bet it made you a bit hungry. When we were creating the graphics, we really wanted to make sure people who saw the meat would actually want to eat it. We actually got some brand new meat from a food store and took a picture of it. Then we used it as a basis for the model that we created. And actually, we marked that bill down as development costs. We actually had a company barbecue event right around that time, so we got a professional cameraman to take, to take some pictures. We wanted pictures of various stages of the grilling process, so we would grill a little, put it back on the cutting board, take a picture, and then repeat that a few more times. Oh shit! This is how it looked before grilling. You can see how nice and marbled it is. Here it is after grilling it a little bit. Mmm, smells delicious. It's done. Just look at that color, that shine. Here's how it would look in game. Oh, well, that's neat. After taking the photos, we dug in. It melted in our mouths. The fat wasn't too tough, and there was just a hint of a grainy aroma. It was a really delicious piece of meat. Hey guys, it's like the boss in the next game of crab. No, a lobster. You should only read below after you've completed the game. Sorry, I can't look at you right now. Saying goodbye is just so emotional. I think we already read the rest of this. Yeah, okay. And then, the only thing here is about the meat. And then, only after you beat the game. Gotcha. Mario, we're in your debt for preparing the VIP meal too, so I'd like to thank you once again. As a sign of our appreciation, please squeeze that strange object as much as you like. Just like Miku. Coldza is always the best way to go. Oh, look at that handle fucking twist. Makes things appear larger than they are. It can also fry- Oh, that's, that must be how you make the toad bigger! Holy shit. It's going to be such a shame when that last piece of the Mamma Mia pizza is finally gone. Guys, I gotta go save that toad ASAP. Maybe gathering up all the rescue toads is what I need to, be, need to be doing right now. I don't know how many I've saved, but... Yeah, let's get out of here. I 
It doesn't seem like the um, other paint stars in the volcano seem uh, mandatory, so now seems like a good time to go back to Port Prisma and use that magnifying glass. And while we're here, we can check up on how many rescue toads we actually have. Because if it's just the one missing, then my guess is if we use the magnifying glass, he'll become the final ember. Or the other the other outcome just being uh, that we need to just continue making more progress and that those paint stars aren't optional in the volcano. Alright, it's gotta be this. If it's not a magnifying glass, I don't know what else it could be. It said make small thing it makes small things bigger, so. Seems about right to me. Oh, <gasps> guys, we did it! Wait, what happened? I feel different. Mario, did you shrink? No, silly, you've gotten bigger. Whoa, this is great! Anyone got a basketball? I'm gonna go see if I can dunk. No, wait, even better! Now I can join the rescue squad! Oh shit, is he the final missing member? Excuse me, sir! Great, Scott, how many vegetables did you eat? You're more than qualified for the rescue squad now, son. Welcome to the team! Thank you, sir! I can't believe it! My, my <coughs> <coughs> dreams are coming true! Yes, yes, of course! Now you'll start out as a mere trainee, of course, but I see great things in your future. Red Rescue Squad Apprentice Toad reporting for duty. Since I haven't yet met my captain, I'll wait here for further orders. So how many are there here? Can I get a roll call? Not currently in contact with all the leaders. So I guess I just gotta find a leader and then all of these guys will come into play. I wonder what we need this many toads for. Oh, let's go to the museum over here. Big Todd Howard. Toad Howard? Guys, Toad Howard terrifies me. My, my, you've been busy with the old paint hammer, haven't you? Well, don't think we haven't noticed. Thanks to your fine efforts, we've been able to procure some records for the sound gallery. Yeah, I know we got a piranha plant card. I think that's all we have in terms of enemies. Oh, no, we got a dry bonus, too. Look at that. Nice. Mari, you didn't you donated no small number of cards. It's enabled us to procure some more art for the gallery. Oh shit, I do like me some of that. And in terms of these cards, oh quite a bit. We got triple this, triple that, and a double that. Let me actually take a look at the overall totals for these things. Oh wow, yeah, we're really getting there. There's only a few blank spots here and there. Damn. And now let's check out that artwork, huh? Uh, okay, three. Dark blue in. Wow, yeah, look at that, and they got the roofs and all the different fucking... Aw, oh, that's so cool. Rock, paper, wizard. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool. The Shy Bandit. Oh, these are like different fucking designs. Yo, is this Persona? The Rochambeau Temples. Plum Park. Man, I love shit like this. Sniff it or whip it. Wow, even... Wow. The super love ship. <laughs> yeah, wow, look at that. And the uh, forest areas. Wow. Yeah, look at that.
That's how it is. Unlocking new waves of concept art is actually really fun in this game. Uh, I don't know what about this in particular makes looking at the concept art exciting, because that's usually not the kind of reward that I go after in games, but... I don't know. This game has a very nice art style, it's cool to see how they came together to make the decisions that they did, to make the things look the way they did. Uh, let's see, is there anything? I guess we can talk to the trash can toad if we need to. Because I got a feeling we do. Oh, let's get some hearts already. Oh, <laughs> hello again, Mario. You must seek a thing that makes a small look big. Seek it inside the coolest part of the kitchen. Huh, so I guess we need another one of those? I guess that's a thing that we can use it for, but maybe that's just a side quest? I guess we'll need another one of those things. Oh shit. Guys, how fucked would it be if you actually had a magnifying glass? that was shaped like how that is at the very end of that squeezing process. Oh, you know what? Let's actually get all the thing cards that we didn't use for the, mu the museum. Because we didn't use the hairdryer and... Oh, I have like one coin left, though. I don't know if I can donate everything here without the coin to back me up. Hmm. You know what, I'll donate this, and then I'll do a Rochambeau temple, and that'll give me enough to add a magnifying glass for its actual purpose. I think these are the only two thing cards that I didn't use anyways, or rather didn't donate, so shouldn't be too big of a deal. Besides, I think the Rochambeau payouts are pretty big. I should probably check the totals on thing cards too, just to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing. Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay. And that, and that. Yeah, let's take a look here. Yeah, there's only like... Uh, six left in total that we need to bring here in terms of thing cards. But nothing we need immediately, so... Yeah, so I say we go to the world map now and do some more shampoo. Oh, we didn't check the post office either. We can do that on, a, on our next visit. Which is inevitable, considering we need that magnifying glass back again. Yeah, I've never gone to one of these things in this, uh, s series, so that'll be something. Welcome to the Rochambeau Temple. This is where legends are made. The first round opponent that only ever... The first round opponent only ever uses the card that most resembles him. He's well-rounded. The second round opponent either punches or does an open hand to slap during fights. This is a cool ass song. Uh oh, I said song. Max, don't come for me. Ah. Oh my god. Can you hear this? I gotta 
do the fucking F10 thing. Aw, uh, they're like on opposite ends of the keyboard. Oh, okay, did it on that side. But I gotta move the mouse away, and then I gotta... I can't do it while holding the gamepad. <laughs> Anyways, that's terrifying. Since the dawn of time, warriors have gathered here to do battle journeying from distant lands for a shot at eternal glory. One must make their own luck to overcome the odds. This is the art of Rochambeau. Oh, I gotta turn this back down. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. Well, what if I hold the game pad like this, and then, ah, ah, yeah, get the fuck out of here, Elgato. In this corner, the rookie hailing from the Mushroom Kingdom, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, um, Mario. I don't like hearing, like, a crowd of toads like this. And in this corner, Bowser's time to small fry, the spectacular sweep of the sentient shiitake, go, 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 Goomba. Grab one, Mario vs. Goomba. Challengers, draw your cards. Oh god. Let's see. So the first opponent uses something that's shaped like him. So we would use paper and he would use rock, right? Here's your prize for making it through the first round. Oh yeah, this will have us covered no problem. Holy shit. This paint train has no brakes. Let's bring on your round two opponent. He won't show his face in public for fear of judgment. The indelicate introvert, the bashful basher. Shh. Shy guy. Round two, Mario vs. Shy Guy challengers draw your cards. Hmm. Let's see, this an open handed slap or I'm gonna go for scissors. I think that's the clue that I got about this guy. Come on, come on. Ah Shy Guy! I gotta beat at least like one of these things though, come on. Tough break. We'll get her next time. Well rounded. Either punches or just an open handed slap. Okay, so I should have used paper so that it would have been a winner. Oh shit, okay. Go find another paint star, then we'll talk. Oh, well. Okay, fuck you then. Eh? Oopsed. Look, I can sneak you into the turn- Oh, it fuck off. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, or skip. Alright. Now I know what I'm doing here, so you just have to keep picking paper on the second one. So... I actually think I had to pick paper for round one as well, so let's do that. Mario, here's your prize for making it through the first round. Oh my god, look, this is ridiculous! Well, we'll be through with this in no time. And that's just for the round one reward. So it's either an open-handed slap or a punch. Sounds like rock or paper to me. So it's either going to be a tie or a win. Mario! Here's your prize for making it through the second round. 500, holy shit. Well, that one does like all the money that we were spending earlier.
Dim the lights. He approaches, ladies and gentlemen, the man you've all been waiting for. Fucking hamburger helper looking ass. Rock, paper, wizard. Round three, Mario versus the rock, paper, wizard. Challengers, set your cards. Yeah, so I didn't get any hints about this guy, so I think it's just gonna be like a total guess here. I'm gonna guess scissors though. It's done nothing but fuck me in the past, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, oh no. Well now what do I do? Ooh, a tie. Challengers, back to your marks. Round two. Challengers, draw your cards. What do you guys think I should do here? Uh, do I stick with my cards? I, I think for this this third one, it's pretty much entirely up to chance. But I'm good. I think I want to let you guys decide here. I don't know. I don't know what I should do here. I love the fucking toads chanting in the background. It's, it's scary, but good. Um, rock, paper, or scissors. Never before has any choice been more intense. Oh god, I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with scissors again. What do you guys think? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Card ready. Let's look. Come on, come on, bro, sham. Another tie? Holy shit! <gasps> to change or not to change? Challengers to your marks. Oh. Oh my god. Do we stick with it? Do we stick with it for a third time or change? Oh god, I don't know. Do I switch to paper? Holy shit, I don't know. This is intense. This is so intense. <laughs> oh. I gotta I gotta trust paper here. I gotta trust paper. Oh, I accidentally banned Funky Rot. Let me undo that. <laughs> no, let me undo it. No, hold on. Okay, well, I'll do paper and then unban Funky Rod. Oops! Oops! Oh no, I just deleted all of his messages now. Unban! Uh oh. Why can't I not undo that? Oh, it was Rock! Well, at least I won. Why can't I not unban him? Let me, let me refresh the page. Well, now the whole chat's gonna dis disappear. Okay, well, can I go into the viewers and then click on that and then timeout mod ban? Maybe they're already unbanned? Block. No, it looks like they're unbanned now. I guess I already undid it. I don't know. Anyways, I won. I can't believe it. Mario has defeated the Rock Paper Wizard. Guys, I don't know if the Funky's back or not. Funky, if you're still banned, can you whisper me at least and let me know? You are our tournament champion. You'll be going home with a big fat bag of coins. Okay, excuse me. You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins and a brand new card. Oh, that's right. You get the the coupling cards from this, don't you? And another thousand coins. Goddamn. And that's a wrap, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Bye bye. Well, okay, that takes care of that, at least. Uh, let's see how long in the stream. Oh, you won! Congratulations. Neat. Wow, you beat the Rock Paper Wizard. We've witnessed the birth of a new champion. Well, this champion's getting the fuck out of here. I think it was maybe Christmas who was telling you about this, but... Uh, 
Oh yeah, so I just gotta go to all of these temples. I guess they probably should have been doing this over the course of the game. But he's like, oh, no wonder you have no money because you've never been doing any of the Rochambeau temples. And, well, here I am, having not done any of the Rochambeau temples with little money. Uh, where do I go from here? Well, I guess I can go back and get the magnifying glass now. That's for sure. Talk to these guys? Oh, okay, well. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Funky is still banned. I'll check the fucking banned users list, and if he's still there, I'll undo it after the stream. Hello again, Mario. Need to know about anything today? Well, he's just gonna see the magnifying glass, right? Yeah, okay, okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. Let's get squeezing. What happened? Oh, I just accidentally banned you, that's all. I just misclicked. I just didn't know if... I tried to undo it, but I the button wasn't, like, changing, so I didn't know if that worked or not. It seems like it has, though. Why are all of my messages gone? Because I accidentally banned you. I gotta actually walk over to it and physically squeeze. Quote unquote physically, it's pressing a button. <laughs> there we go. Well, now what do I do with this thing? I've kind of, I'm kind of at a loss of where I'm actually supposed to go. I want to do at least like one more thing before I wrap up Paper Mario tonight. We still got time. I still didn't find that letter though. Well, no, that's just a regular one, so it would be at the post office, but... I don't know where to go from here, really. I went to Tangerino Grill, I got the magnifying glass, do I... Is it something over in the volcano again? Because there's two paint stars for each of those things, but those look optional. I guess there's, like, some stuff to the left here that maybe it would... Hmm. But I would have to... I would, I would need another magma burger all the way from Fort Cobalt, so I would have to go all the way over there and do that first. Okay, okay, okay. I think there's a shortcut to getting one of those, so... If I take that, I should be good. Or, or I could just stock up on multiple Mango Burgers. I don't know if we get punished for not getting dragged on the Mango Burger, I just want it to be nice. Yeah, right this way. There should be... This should take me to the... The restaurant, right? Like right out here? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. Alright. What do you got for me? I need a magma burger. No, nope, that should be about it. Okay, well now we've got a magma burger. We've got the magnifying glass. But what do we use either of those things for? Well, I mean, I know what to do with the magma burger, but it's... I don't really see, like, any branching paths, necessarily, in either of those stages. I feel like there is more room for it in the second stage, though, so I'll try looking at that first before the, the looking back at the first one. We'll see. Apparently, what's the 100,000 coin thing? Um, when you first do that mission, it turns out that the person working the counter is actually undercover, and they're, like, working at that fort to, like, spy on them. It's only, like, a story thing. Um, I think if you just talk to them now, they'll congratulate you on beating the boss in that area, and they'll, they'll, it'll, that's it. It'll just, you move on. That's all it is. It's just something that you ask for, and then they'll start talking to you, uh, without being undercover, necessarily. So, oh, I can at least rack up these coins again. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, one coin left, not bad. 
we can get some extra cards here. Good stuff. Uh. Alright, so where would an alternate route be? Like, oh, cool. just avoiding the enemies, looking at the possible entrances and exits. What do we got? That's gonna be a little tough to not get into battle. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, if we have any ice flowers left, which we do, that would certainly do the trick. I have a feeling coins only go up to 99,999. I wouldn't know. Because they keep fucking spending them all. There we go. That makes quick work of that. Maybe it's four digits. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, you just gotta go back. That's not a crazy puzzle. Uh oh. Maybe you can have 10,000 or more, though. I don't know. Anyway, I'm fleeing this. There he goes. At least it's not too much trouble. Oh, that was a close one. At least I'm getting like a second shot at some of these cards. I don't know. Huh, so then this leads... Well, right, because there was a spot here where I prematurely did the thingy that I didn't want to do. Yeah, okay, hold on. Maybe there's more to this. Yeah, there's like some bombs here and, some, and stuff. And... Oh, these guys just blow up on their own then, huh? Oh, you gotta get them to throw fireballs at these guys. I see. <laughs> That's clever. And then we can go into this bonus room and get some cool coins. Oof! 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 <laughs> there we go. Yeesh. Have I even been in here? Hit a card with your hammer to flip it. Try to find all the pairs before time runs out. I'm good at these things. I'm good at these things. Oh god. I'm not good at these things. Eh? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm good at these things. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got it, I got it, I got it. <gasps> the shoe! Alright. That's an alright minigame. And you actually get all the cards that you find. That's not a bad selection at all. Well, okay, so it looks like we do need to go up here. I don't think there's any other secrets. Maybe there was something post hair dryer and it's one of those things where it's like a very tiny thing that you have to do at the end and then everything else before that is the same but you get two different paint flows out of it. Could be. Okay, so we're up here now. But now what? Ooh. Yeah, because the thing I found was behind a waterfall so maybe that was the optional thing? I mean, he, this guy over here told me to bring the hairdryer back. Maybe he gives me a mini paint star? Oh no, it comes back on its own. Well, okay. Water contains water. Water is hot. Water will get you wet. Please do not sue us. Yeah, is there anything else I can do besides going behind that waterfall? Luigi was behind that one, so that's only something I can cut out. So this is all I can really do back here. Hold on, something's happening here. Do we literally just have to come back here a second time? No, apparently not. Then what is the second paint slayer thing here? Because this is just the one that I already got. These guys are fucking busting nuts over here. What do I do then? 
where would the other paint star be? Do I squeeze this again? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see any alternate routes. I could like back start backtracking. Or... Did you guys see anything? Whoa, jeez. Maybe it's all before this room. I don't know what else it would be. I'm hella confused right now. Unless it's on the other side of all of that. Or it's like this way, or... I don't know, I'm fucking cool as my dude. Uh-oh. Yep, thank you, thank you, thank you! Is there anything down? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not dealing with this. I'm actually looking at the cards I have right now. I could deal with this. I very much could deal with this. With these cards that I do not want. This does, like, nothing. Oh, right, because these guys are, like, fire enemies. Oops. Uh-oh. Don't do me like this. Okay, well, on second thought, let's flee. Oh, thanks, say Hydra to Oh, of course I can't flee. Of course it fails. I can hold out. I can hold out another turn. I'll try fleeing again. You won't stop me from trying. I tried to waste my cards. I'm through with this. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know. It could be something back here. Worth a shot. Because I know the only thing that was really back here was activating the other path, but... I don't know, maybe I, I was thinking maybe I could like go behind this wall or something, or... I don't know, it's like a I don't really know. I don't think that's what I gotta do. There's like no other alternate path except this one. Which really just breaks you back here. Maybe it's earlier on in the stage? Where else could it be? Maybe it's related to this? I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be one of those things where you go into a wall that's in the moving platform and then that gives you like a space, you can use like an elevator to go down like another floor or something like that, but I don't know if that's the case. We'll see, I guess. Oh, jeez. Like maybe something like this, or, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I like intentionally drop down in one of these, then maybe I can see a wall inside of one of these, maybe? I can risk some health here. We'll see if there's any secrets here. <gasps> there totally is! There totally is! <gasps> oh, lucky guess, Griffin. Whoa, you actually found this place? Respect. <laughs> Why, thank you. Well, that takes care of that, then. I thought it was going to be a bit more off the path than that, but... So where does this lead, then? Oh, it's a shortcut all the way to that island. Well, alright. That brings things together a little bit more. Neat. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's really coming together now. Let's see. Uh... I don't think that that was definitely the optional one. It looked like the, the non-optional one is that Red Pepper Volcano, but uh, we're pretty much at the uh, time that I usually spend streaming here, so I might wrap it up here tonight. I think I'll do that. My AirPods are fucking dead anyways. Um, okay, so that was Paper Wire for tonight. Um, 
And thank you for watching. Oh, for fun. For fun. <laughs> oh. Uh, if you liked what you saw. <laughs> and hopefully not if you liked what you heard, because <laughs> I don't know if I can fucking drop plastic that much. Uh, then you can follow me here on Twitch, or check out the YouTube channel at the Full Galaxy. Uh, all the VODs go there, plus highlights and more. Um, you can check me out on Twitter or Tumblr, same name all places. Uh, or you can check out uh, the Discord server. Uh, there's all sorts of channels there for you guys to hang out in, both on and off stream. Uh, let's see... I always post on those last three things I mentioned right before I stream. And if any of what I mentioned interests you, then you can uh, hit that big ol' follow button, or that big ol' subscribe button. Or uh, you can check out the Twitch cards uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, or the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I guess that's it then. Uh, thanks for watching tonight, guys. Lots of fun.